spoken and phonetics for changes and adult learners. Class 5 Long Self-Introduction We have learned how to introduce ourselves in front of people. But whenever people want to know details about us, we should give a long self-introduction then. So today, I'll be teaching you how to introduce yourself in a broader way. Hello everyone. Good morning. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm so very glad by getting the chance to say a few words about myself before you. Well, my full name is Zarin Thasne Priyam and Zarin is my nickname. My birthplace, well, the name of my hometown is Lal Monirhat, and you know, it is famous for Nokshikathas. I love my hometown very much because I was born and brought up there. I have been living in Dhaka since 2015 and we are settled here. I study at Vikarnisa Nunskulan College. My family consists of four members and they are my father, my mother, my sister and me. It's a nuclear family. I have one sibling excluding me and I am the second number. My father is a government officer and my mother is also a government officer. We are a happy family indeed. If you want to know about my aim in life, that would be I want to be an entrepreneur because this I always dreamed to be. My second goal of life is to be the Prime Minister of Bangladesh because I want to serve the people of my country in a proper way. In my leisure time, I usually read books because it gives me much pleasure. Sometimes I sing songs and browse the internet or I sometimes draw and whenever browsing the internet I especially watch TESOL Kids Center Facebook videos and YouTube videos of TESOL Bangladesh for learning purpose. Occasionally, I love to travel as well. My favorite person is of course my mother because I like her personality and ideologies. Every one of us has a favorite teacher. My favorite teacher is Muhammad Yasser sir because I love his teaching methodologies and honesty. I watch a lot of movies and I have my favorite actor. My favorite actor is, there are many, I'll mention one, Tom Holland because I like his acting very much. It's really unique. Now my favorite actress. Well, my favorite actress is Naomi Scott because I like her glamorous look. I don't listen to music much, but still I have my favorite singer, and that is R.J. Singh and Sriya Ghoshal because I like their melodious tune. Though I don't find much time for sports and games, but still I have my favorite game and that is karate because it's a very exciting sport. My favorite player is Neymar Jr. because he plays so very well. My favorite TV program is Peppa Pig because it is very entertaining and educative. My favorite color is well, I cannot say color because black and blue both suit me very well. So I'll say my favorite colors are black and blue because they suit me well. My favorite book is All the Fields by Olivia Dade because it gave me pleasure to read. My favorite place is Cox's Bazaar because I find peace in mind when I visit this. Also, you can say my favorite place is any kind of airport because I find pleasure when I visit any airport. My favorite food is Pantabhat or you can say watered rice 
because it is our traditional food. My favorite restaurant is BFC because I like the menu, environment, and service quality of that. My favorite movie is Aladdin because it is very entertaining and educative. Also, I would like to include Dil Bichara here and Emma's Tony the Untold Story. I love traveling, but I'm very homesick. I haven't visited any foreign country yet, but I would love to visit soon. My personal qualities are I'm very sincere, honest, frank, friendly, outgoing, faithful, religious, kind, and responsible. I'm very much ambitious and emotional as well. I don't mind telling my weaknesses because I am me. So many thanks for your patient listening and attention. God bless you all. Next activity, a presentation about my country, Bangladesh. Ms. Jarin, you are requested to give the presentation. Hello, everyone. I'm here to talk about my country, Bangladesh. When people see class and history, they think about London. When they look for romance and delight, when people see class and history, they think about London. When they look for romance and delight, they think about Paris. But when they seek for a place, that has a touch of mother nature, they think of the land of rivers, which is in South Asia, occupying a small portion of the eastern zone of the Indian subcontinent. This is my country, Bangladesh, the home of the world's longest natural beach and the world's largest mangrove forest both of which lie in the southern region of the country. The beach in Cox's Bazar is an unbroken 125 kilometers, 78 miles sandy beach with a gentle slope. Cox's Bazar is also known as Yellow Flower. The famous mangrove forest in Bangladesh is called the Shunderbans. We can proudly claim that our per capita income is higher than Indians and Pakistanis, meaning we are richer when a single citizen is taken into consideration. Along with many other fascinating wild creatures, the Shunderbans is the home of the Royal Bengal Tiger the national animal of Bangladesh. I love my country very much and I am very proud to be called as a Bangladeshi. Hope you all liked my presentation. Next time, I will come up with an interesting topic. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Okay, Zarin. Uh, mm -hmm. I want you to ask me questions. What do you do or what's your profession? Um, sir, what do you do or what's your profession? Mm, I'm an advertising agent. What do you do for your living? Well, I'm a manager. What's your profession? I'm a reporter. What do you do? I'm a supervisor. What's your profession? I'm a call center agent. What do you do for a living? Mm, I'm a call center supervisor. What's your profession? I'm a banker. What do you do? I'm a government official. What's your profession? I'm a tanner. What do you do? I'm a baker. What's your profession? I'm a fashion designer. What do you do for leading your life? I'm an architect. What's your profession? I'm an engineer. What do you do? I'm an artist. What's your profession? I'm a composer. What's your work? I'm a typist. What's your profession? I'm an office attendant. No, no, no. Okay. Why? Because it's the peon. 
You should respect people of every occupation. I respect. I do respect, but I'm not that. <laughs> You're not that, but yeah. still, if you were in that position, I could be right. Yeah, you could have been in that position. Mm. Like Allah could have written that in your luck. Yeah. So we should thank Allah for whatever we have, mm -hmm. right? Right. What do you do? I'm an administrator. What's your profession? I'm a god. <laughs> really? Mm. You're a, a god, bottle yeah. god. Okay, yeah. bottle god, that grows. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So we can eat you sometimes, okay. bottle god, okay. What do you do? I'm a driver. What's your profession? I'm a cook or, I mean, I'm a chef. Are you a master chef? I will be one day. I hope so. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, cook. I don't cook hope clothes. so. I <laughs> hope so. Okay. Okay. What's your profession? I'm a coach. What do you do? I'm a tourist guide. What's your profession? I'm a sales manager. What do you do? I'm an executive. What's your profession? I'm a receptionist. I'm an army officer. No, no, no. You, you answer to my question. <laughs> I want to be an army officer, not you. <laughs> okay, what do you do? Yes, sir. No, no, skip that, I'm, skip that. I'm an army officer. Okay. No, you're not. <laughs> <Okay>. You're a nurse. <laughs> you're a nurse, okay? Okay. <laughs> Skip that, okay? <laughs> Not, don't take my aims. Okay. Okay, what do you do? I'm a nurse. You already told that, didn't you? No, I didn't. You did. And the next question is? What's your profession? I'm a columnist. Okay, what do you do? I'm a journalist. What's your profession? I'm a correspondent. What do you do for a living? I'm a controller. What's your profession? I'm a director. How many movies have you directed? Uh, zero till today. Oh, like one million zeros. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I knew that. Right. So, what's your profession again? I'm a negotiator. What do you do actually? What's the point of becoming a negotiator? I negotiate. Uh, really? Yeah. Okay. Very, I mean, very clean answer in just one sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you do? I'm a representative. What's your profession? I'm a teacher. What do you do? I'm a builder. What did you build? I built career. <laughs> Good. What's your profession? I'm a contractor. What do you do? I'm a singer. Can you sing? Mm-hmm. Can I'm you sing? I'm a professional singer, yeah. Can you sing a song? Yeah, I can. Then sing a song. Yeah, I can. <laughs> okay, and then? And then what do you do? I'm a musician. Oh. What's your profession? I'm a dancer. Whole lie. Mm. What do you do? I'm a comedian. Never. What's your profession? I'm a salesman. Never. What do you do? I'm a helper. You help me, right? Mm -hmm. What do you do? I'm an assistant. Who's? Everybody's. Okay. What's your profession? I'm a secretary. Secretary in the secretariat? No, I'm your secretary, personal secretary. Oh, thank you so much. Then I, I will not have to worry about a bodyguard in my future. Uh, of okay? course not, of course not, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. So, what's your profession? I'm an announcer. What do you do? I'm a binder. What's your profession? I'm a biographer. So, you write biographies? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you do? I'm a cashier. What's your occupation? I'm a copywriter. What do you do? I'm a dealer. Mm, you made many deals, right? Mm. So, what's your profession? I'm a proofreader. What do you do? I'm a jeweler. Can you give me 1,000, 1 million, 1 Google Plex diamonds? Of course, in your dream. How many pieces do you need? I have got lots of diamond pieces. But you'll give them in my dream. Yeah. I don't need it. Okay. What do you do? I'm a police officer. What's your profession? I'm an advisor. What's your occupation? I'm a part-timer. What do you do? I'm a bank manager. What do you do for a living? I'm a volunteer. Volunteer, mm. okay. What's your profession? I'm a public speaker. Just like me. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And then? It's me. It's me, yeah. What do you do? I'm a registrar. What's your profession? I'm a publisher. I never saw you publishing anything. Mm -hmm, you'll see. What do you do? I'm a preacher. Really? Mm -hmm. What did you preach? 
religion. Wow. What's your profession? I'm an informer. So you inform people something. Mm. There's a lot here, like lots of discussions here. Okay, what's your profession? I'm a home worker. Okay, what do you do? I'm a farmer. How many crops have you grown this year? Lots of. Lots chilies, of. Yeah. Okay. Do you like chilies? I love them. Okay. What's your profession? I'm an eye specialist. Um. So, doctor, I have got some problem. I, I have some allergies on my eye. Can you cure them? Yeah, just you need to pull the eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> then I'll have no eye. Uh, um, believe me, there'll be no allergy after that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I'll lose both my eyes and allergy. <laughs> what a doctor, right? Yeah. What do you do? I'm a surgeon. How many surgeries have you conducted so far? Zero till today. Wow. What do you do? I'm a general practitioner. Hmm. What's your profession? I'm a druggist. What's your profession? I'm a chemist. What's your profession? I'm a dentist. You said you are a druggist, like. And dentist too. Uh, I'm an expert in pulling somebody's teeth only in that respect. So you pulled I'm your daughter's teeth. teeth out. No, no, you no. You pulled your teeth, teeth out. Only the good teeth, okay? Not the bad teeth. No, no, no. no. Only the good teeth. Okay. You, you pull out the good teeth and leave the bad teeth. Yeah. Why? That's a great, unique activity. Come on, lady. Mm. So you said you're a druggist. Yeah. Are you in le Are you a legal druggist or an illegal druggist? Fully, fully illegal. Yes. Fully, fully illegal. Yeah. Fully illegal. Oh my God! This two mixed together. Okay. I'm confused. <laughs> Guys, please guess. If he said illegal, then you should kill him. And if he said legal, then he's spared. Yeah. What do you do? I'm an economist. What's your profession? I'm an educationalist. What do you do? I'm an essayist. So you write essays. <laughs> okay. What's your profession? I'm a lobbyist. What do you do? I'm a mechanist. What do you do? I'm a pianist. Pianist? Hmm. I've got a piano. Yeah. In my computer, it's a it's a game piano. Oh, fry! He didn't spend any money on his piano. Okay, what do you do? I'm a technologist. What's That's your profession? True. I'm a chemist. What do you do? I'm a biologist. What's your profession? I'm a physicist. So, can you tell me the difference between a physician and a physicist? A doctor and a person who who is expert in physics. Good. What do you do? I'm a mathematician. Or say mathematician. Sometimes. Yes. What's your profession? I'm an astronomer. What do you do? I'm a librarian. What's your profession? I'm an academic. What do you do? I'm a lecturer. What's your profession? I'm a professor. Didn't you miss the? Um, there I'm an astronaut. Yeah, there are a lot of other professions. Yes, you missed the main thing. Hmm. I'm an astronaut. Like. And there is another one. I'm I'm a disturbing element. <laughs> I'm a disturbing element. No, you always give this emphasis on the word disturbing element. Yeah, I disturb my daughters a lot. I just love them. You know what? Once last year, 2021, Yasir sir just found a disturbing element from the streets, and it was a cat called Princess. It didn't ever look like a princess, but he named it Princess, by the way. Hmm. And it was my Enemiest enemy. <laughs> you love cats, right? No. You don't? No. Okay, I'll give you one then. No. Okay, now I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. Shall Can I you? answer them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me about something you love to do most? Well, I love to do digital illustrations the most. Can you tell me about something you hate doing most? Yeah. I hate being disturbed by you the most. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'll do it more. Can you tell me about somebody who really cares about you? Who really cares about me or somebody I really care about? Okay, tell about you really care about. I don't care about you. I care about myself and you care about me. Okay. Uh, John selfish. <laughs> Can you tell me about no, someone? No, I never sell fishes. Okay. You don't, you don't sell fish. No, I you don't buy sell fish. fish. Right? I buy fish. Okay, okay, that's nice. 
Can you tell me about someone you dislike? I don't like disliking people. Hmm. Can you tell about a dream you have had? Well, once I dreamt that I went to the Mount Everest without you. Hmm. And you are left alone there. <laughs> there is uh, no one to bring me down. Yeah, e eating only snow and our <laughs> thick eyes. <laughs> snow. Okay. Uh, can you tell me about a goal you have? About my goal? Mm -hmm. Well, my goal is to be, I want to become the richest person in the world. Mm, and the prime minister of the country, right? Yes. Can you tell about yourself? Yeah, sure. I would love to talk about myself. I'm a bit crazy person and traditional. I know, I know, I know. Can you mm. tell me about your childhood? Tell the most of things. the people, most of the people will say that I do not remember anything about my childhood because I was the most disturbing element in my childhood. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you tell about your family? My family will. Um, it's a heavenly family, you can say. Every member is helpful and friendly. Can you tell about your parents? My parents are the best parents in the world. Well, I shouldn't say that because everyone's parents are the best to them. So according to me, my parents are the best to me. So they are my friends, they are my guide, they are my teachers, and they are my everything. Can you tell me about your friend, best friend? Friend who? Your best friend. Who, you? Yeah, shouldn't I be? Yeah, so you is my best friend. You is my. <laughs> you is my. This is grammatically wrong, but someone called you is my best friend. So now, you, you is a name. You, you can be a name of somebody. Yeah, yeah. you can be a name, like a Chinese person's yeah. name. Like, and me so, also a name. Yeah, me. You, me is my best friend. Yeah, me. Me is your best friend. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell about a place you have visited? Recently? Yeah. I visited your office. Mm -hmm, that's nice. Can you tell about a time when you were happy? I'm always happy. Okay. Can you tell about a time when you were sad? As I said, I'm always happy. That does not mean that I was never sad. I was sad sometimes in case of um, like whenever any relative died, but it happened because of the wish of the Almighty. So. I believe that whatever happens, happens for the good of people. So whenever I'm sad, the reason I'm sad for, that reason is also caused by the wish of the Almighty. And so maybe there's some kind of good in that. So I never try or I never try to remain sad all the time. Can you tell about your favorite pastime, your free time? Hmm. Um, giving voiceovers with you? Mm-hmm. Singing. Not singing. I said giving voiceovers with you. Like, mm. I'm giving the voice with you, right? Mm, so, this is yeah. a favorite pastime. Can you tell about your favorite chocolate? Well, I don't like normal milk chocolates. Either it has to be dark chocolate. I mean, abnormal one, yeah. Yeah, I am I am always interested in darkness. Mm. Oh, no, I'm also interested in light. Or it has to be white chocolate. Because I love them. Can you tell about something beautiful? My country. Mm -hmm, nice answer. Can you tell about something delicious? Delicious? Mm. My books. Because I'm a bookworm and I love to eat my books. Okay. Uh, can you tell about something boring? Seeing the cats roam around me when I'm outside of my home. The cats are allergic to you? No, I'm allergic to the cats. Okay. Can you tell about your education? Well, I'm currently studying in grade 8 at Vikarnasanun School and College. Can you tell about your work? I'm an ESL trainer as well as an RJ, as well as a trainer of BOSS, and as well as a co-author of You in mm. TESOL. Can you tell me about a teacher you had in your primary school? My primary school? up to grade 5. Mm -hmm. um, it is uh, our late teacher, Tazin Binti Rahman. She was a very good teacher and I'll remember her all the time. 
Can you tell me about a friend you had? I had but not now. No. Uh, in MPSC, Mama to preparatory school and college, I had a friend called Shifa. I miss her a lot. She was my best friend then and still she is. I talk to her sometimes and yeah. Can you tell me about a mistake you made? The mistake I made is that I did not join TESOL a long, long time ago. Mm, that's nice. You are, do you think that you're a smart girl? No, I don't think so. Yeah, thank you. Thanks because for... I'm the smartest girl. I oh, understand the trick. This is not good. <laughs> okay, so thanks for listening. Thank okay, you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.